morning, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about my April favourites. I'm going to keep it quite short, quite sweet. I like to do this every single month, but to be honest, I don't really have that much to offer right now. I don't know why, I was just sitting down planning this video thinking what have been my favourites this month and I found it quite hard to pick some stuff. My mind's been all over the shop, as you may know, I'm moving house, it's taking over my fucking lives, but, but there are a few things that I just wanted to show you and talk about, so there's gonna be some products and just also some talking. So I'm gonna start with the shit, with the stuff. Right, the first thing is a jacket that I got from Nasty Girl. I did a Nasty Girl unboxing and haul recently. If you haven't seen it, then where have you been? Um, but basically the jacket that I got, which is this denim biker jacket with, like a black denim jacket with a fur collar, has literally been on me every single day since getting it and I really fucking love it. There's one thing I don't like about it which is this bit here because they always seem to come out which is so annoying. However the jacket itself is super duper cool, I just put it on. Looks like this on as you can see, looks like that, pretty nice. I was worried about my hair like disappearing in the fur because it's both grey but no, I've been wearing it like all the time. I, I didn't wear it when I was in Florida, though. I've been wearing it in England every single day. Just sort of goes with everything, really. Next are a pair of boots that I got from some from um, an online store. I'll link them below, but these are Jeffrey Campbell's and these are an amazing suede, black and tan. I can never fully commit to tan. I don't know why, they just scare me a bit. Oi. These are absolutely perfect because they've got the black and the tan. I really like that they've got a rough heel. They've got some really pretty detailing around the back and the front of it. Um, and they're so comfortable. I wore them out one night. I went on a date night and they're so comfy. Couldn't believe it, but they're gorgeous and I love them. And they're just gorgeous and I love them. Next are a couple of products. So the shower gel I've been using all month and just crazy over is the Orange Gasm. Um, body wash from Soap and Glory. It kind of makes me tingle when I put it on, which is kind of, I don't know if that's a good sign, but it sure smells really nice and I feel really clean after I've used it and it comes in a really cool pump thing so you get loads in it and I like the pump because I'll be in the shower and I'm just like, yeah, come out. I love it and I like that it's called Orange Gasm. It's kind of naughty and nice. I got a bunch of stuff from L'Oreal, thank you very much, but the product that I took out immediately and started using was the L'Oreal Silver Gloss Protect System Shampoo. Basically, it's a silver shampoo. I've been told so many times by people that this is the best silver shampoo, and I've been using it, and it is, yeah, I like it a lot. It's very, very purple, but it's very dark purple. It's a very good shampoo. I've heard great things about it, and I can say that I very much like this shampoo. Next is my phone case. This is from the Case Cavern, I think it's called. I'll link it below. Um, basically, it's the most goth fucking phone case ever with a gold skull, skull and crossbones on it. I love it. I smashed my phone in Florida. I'm so sad. But yeah, I'm not desperate for a new screen, but at least my case looks cool. But it's very me, very cool. It's kind of so pirate goth that it's kind of lame, but also like also just fucking cool. Next is some foods. Okay, these might be really bad for you or full of shite, but I thought it was pretty ingenious. Okay, they're called Oso Chocolate. I got it from Boots. I saw it like at the till. It's a 63 calorie chocolate bar with no added sugar and it's a Belgian chocolate, your booster friendly bacteria. Basically, there's no added dairy, there's 70.3% of cocoa solids, and it's in this tiny little bar, gluten-free, nut-free, basically. So I, I take it that it's vegan friendly. Um, there's barely anything in it. Yeah, so yeah, it's basically like a healthy chocolate bar. It's dark chocolate as well, so you know, you get a pretty intense flavor, but like I always, always, always get chocolate cravings or sweet cravings throughout the day. So like every now and then, I may have, not throughout the day, but you know, once a day I might pop in one of these. In fact, I'll eat this now. This is my last one. They are quite pricey, but I did think that it was quite good. I know that people will be like, oh, well, if you're trying to lose weight and be a diet, then just cut out chocolate. I'm sorry, but it's just, not that fucking easy for some of us. And it's just basically dark chocolate. And so these little squares. I'm really into my chokers at the moment. So I've got this lacy one from New Look. And then I've got this plain black one from Topshop. This is actually slightly broken. Right, so I was in Florida. 
and I was really hot and sweaty and somehow some of the fibres had started to come off it and went on my, my neck and Hazel from like Hazel Hayes Oh Melon you've got something on your neck Okay that was a really bad Irish impression <laughs> Sorry, Hazel. So I started to slide, like twist it round so I could undo it because I was so swollen and sweaty and hot that I snapped it and I broke it and I miss, I'm missing a bit. So I'm actually going to have to go replace this. But that was my fault because I was so sweaty. But this, literally, these two have been alternating through my life over the last month. The last product is really, really random, but I don't care. It's a jumpsuit from Iron Fist, but it's Care Bears. Now, I would never actually probably wear this out. It would be my lounging clothes, but it's really cool. It's a jumpsuit that buttons up the front, um, and it's strappy, and it's got like a race, is it a racer back? It's basically like that. And then the feet bits look like this. It's just really long jumpsuit. It's actually quite big on me. The reason why I wear it at home is because my boobies are like popping out of the side of it, so I wouldn't really wear it out. But it's really, really cool and comfortable and cool looking. Yeah, I wouldn't wear it out just because I don't really wear the kind of Care Bear My Little Pony thing anymore. That was back in the MySpace emo, sitting at the forum when you're 13, 14 days, you know. Forum is a place in Norwich, by the way. If you're from Norwich and you know what I'm talking about, then now I'm going to talk about some favourite things, other things that aren't products and consumer things. First of all, started watching Walking Dead. I'm now on to season three, which is the prison one. I must say that season three is where it's at now. It's actually getting really good. Me and Matthew were starting to, mm, a little bit, but it's picked up again and we're happy again. Also, new season of Game of Thrones. Who's excited? I saw the first episode when I was in Florida. Fuck me sideways. <laughs> So exciting. I went to see The Jungle Book as well, which was incredible. I did find it slightly scary though. King Louis, now the guy that plays King Louis is that Chris person. He's like renowned for playing like baddies. He plays that scary gangster in True Romance and various other bad, creepy folk. So, cause I, I knew it was him, I thought it was even more sinister. Um, and he's just, just King Louis' face is terrifying. He's just massive. Shere Khan, he's also pretty bloody sinister. Um, but the rest of it was just fantastic. So good, absolutely loved it. In fact, I loved it so much. I bought myself Bagheera from um, Disney World. I loved Bagheera in it. Like, I know he seemed a bit of a killjoy, but he was so wise and lovely and he helped Mowgli. I also watched the film Joy, which was very, very good. Oh, oh my goodness, watch Man of Steel, Superman film. I'm not really like very educated with like Superman and Batman and stuff. So I wanted to watch Superman and understand a bit more about Superman, so I watched Man of Steel and it was so good. And Superman is fucking gorgeous. I don't even care if Matthew was sat next to me. I was like, look at him, he's so fit. But yeah, um, April's been really cool. I had a really fun time in Orlando at Playlist Live. My house stuff got finally sorted. And yeah, I've started packing, apart from this corner of my house. So thanks for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye.